Hi everyone. So I got home from the gym and sat down and was working on my ebook. It is going to be called, I'm looking at my notes as usual, it's going to be called Reclaim Your Energy. Now it was originally going to be kind of like all one ebook but cover two topics and called Rec Reclaim Your Energy, Reclaim Your Focus, but I decided to separate it into two. And so, yeah, I was working on part one, and that's going to focus on reclaiming your energy. Um, I just did a mini challenge, let's call it, on Instagram that focused on what I refer to as energy vampires, and they are people, things, habits that absorb your energy without you knowing. Um, and so this video is going to cover... Uh, a topic that I found myself um, writing about in the first part of the the two part ebook series. So that topic is this long standing myth that putting others before yourself means completely depriving yourself, not looking out for yourself, not respecting yourself, not being your own advocate, not loving yourself. That is a myth and that 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 thought pattern, whatever we're going to call it, that um, misconception is actually kind of abusive if someone else tells you to do that um, or that that's what selflessness means. It, it simply doesn't. Um, even in the Bible, if you're a Bible believer, it says that you are to love your neighbor as you love yourself. That doesn't mean, you know, let's say you deprive yourself and don't look out for yourself and um, don't value your own opinions and needs and feelings. That would mean that you're supposed to treat your neighbor like that. And that is not the intent of that scripture. So clearly, if that's your um, belief system, you have to love yourself first. And even if you are not a Bible believer, it just makes sense. Um, how are you going to take care of other people if you're not taking care of yourself? It just doesn't, it doesn't make sense to, to give, give, give and to be deprived because we know that the nature of humans is pretty selfish. And if you don't look out for yourself, chances are no one else will, especially, I mean, like it's, it's definitely that way with strangers, except for like the occasional good Samaritan, but it's even that way with families. I have known many people who just have like these deep seated psychological issues because they bought into the notion that they were supposed to give their everything and sacrifice for family members for, and I'm not talking about kids. I'm talking about like siblings, aunts, uncles, parents, um, for friends, people do it for friends all the time. They, bury their sense of self to fit in with the group or to be people pleasers, all this stuff that people do and they end up hurting them. They end up being hurt in the long run because nine times out of 10, the people they're doing these things for aren't reciprocating. And anyone who advances that um misconception that putting others before yourself means completely depriving yourself of everything is abusive and they want to take advantage of you. That is the only reason you would tell someone to do something like that. Now, if a person is selfish and um, they are just a jerk, then yeah, like, uh, like it's normal to advise that person to, to consider other people, but you would never tell that person to just like stop loving yourself altogether or to stop listening to yourself or you don't deserve good things. You should be focused on giving good things to other people. But that is this message that is repeated throughout our society and it takes many different forms and it's especially being told to women. And that is one of the, one of the reasons why many people, not just women, but especially women are so tired and have no idea why. And it's because you're sacrificing yourself in ways that you really shouldn't be. Um, and so this video is a lot shorter than I thought it would be. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. Cause I have like another one I want to make. Um, side note, side note. 
So anyway, if you find yourself um, giving your last, and this is actually something I heard on like a live stream of an entrepreneur I follow, um, unless it's your child, giving your last isn't what you should be doing. You need your last, like you need food, you need clothes, you need your money to make sure you're good. Um, being selfless isn't about emptying out your cup. Um, to take care of other people, you need what's in your cup and you can give, give to others from the overflow. Um, so that means invest in yourself and make sure that you're healthy, that you're well, that you're overflowing before you, you know, um, worry about enriching someone else. Now that doesn't mean if you see someone that's like stuck in a burning building and they need you to open the door from the outside or something or to call for help, you shouldn't do it. Absolutely. That costs you virtually nothing. Um, you know, assuming it's safe or whatever, but certainly you can call for help. Um, and that doesn't mean that like, if you see a homeless person, don't give them, you know, like some extra food or a blanket doesn't mean that at all. It does, however, mean that if you don't have the money to pay your light bill or, you know, or let's not go that drastic, although that does happen. Let's say you have the money you saved to pay your electric bill and um, your significant other needs to be bailed out of jail or your best friend um, asked to borrow some money and it's not a life or death situation. Um, yeah, don't don't give them that. You know, If your significant other doesn't have a job, it's just going to get out and do the same thing over and over again, wind up back in there. Um, you might want to pay your light bill. <laughs> uh, yeah. So that's what that is. Just, I, I wish that we would all, everyone, especially women would stop, especially women, especially minorities would stop buying into this notion that we don't deserve anything unless we're giving our everything to someone else. Because it's it's like such a huge fallacy if you just look at it um, matter of factly and objectively. Like, how are you supposed to have anything for yourself if you're giving everything to someone else? It's okay for you to have. It's okay for you to want better for yourself. It's okay for you to save. It's okay for you to give yourself nice things as long as you can afford them. All of this stuff is okay, and don't buy into any any idea that suggests that you are less deserving or that um you're worthless unless you're pouring the little that you have into somebody else you absolutely are entitled to take care of yourself um to to save up stock up to build up so that your cup can overflow and so that you then can help other people in bigger ways um so that's all I wanted to say. Um, yeah, so there will probably be a part two to this. I'm not sure because um, I'm still writing that ebook, but I hope this helps someone and thank you for listening. I will see you again in the next video.